Hello everybody, uh, today it's uh, Thursday, Thursday evening. I am uh, continuing to put away a uh, the Star Wars uh, set I was doing last time. I only need to uh, add some figures. Uh, actually the only one I need to add is the uh, Boba Fett. So I will do that right now. Um, what I do is I um, put them away, part it out, so that the customer can build them. And then I put them obviously in those Ziploc bags and I put a uh, label on top of it. First gonna make the label. That I'm gonna print like three times. So it basically is the uh, number of the uh, item, in this case of the uh, minifigure. And I'm using this like uh, Dymo label printer thingy for it. And for those uh, small prints. And not so expensive. So last they are selling them at Aldi as well. Uh, I think for uh, 30 euros or maybe even less. So my bags are stickered. So I'm gonna put in the uh, minifigure items. The torso, the legs, the head and the backpack. and the helmet and then there's one more part I need to add so the head the torso the legs the helmet uh, the, sorry the backpack and the helmet He has this little uh, antenna on the top, so that I or it's uh, actually a visor. I need to um, take that out of the bag, excuse me, and put that in here as well. Gonna cut. A bag open so it's this little thingy uh, it's really small one in each bag and then close it up and then I still have some uh, in reserve so that's cool okay so I'm gonna put them away uh, in my minifigure box, those are stored. And then move on. This week again, I uh, lacked the energy to, uh, yeah, to work in the stores. I only picked orders, did not even make a uh, a video from that a vlog that's a bit of shame but yeah what can you do uh gonna put those all together i'm out of power See if I can power it up from here. Yes, I can. This is cool. So my scanner is uh, battery power. Uh, no battery power, so I'm gonna type in this manually T zero one one five nine er. There we go. And complete.
complete. And now I still have to add the stickers. Where are those? So I have the manuals. Those are in here. And so are the stickers. One. Sticker sheets do sell as well. Many will sometimes do as, as well. So. <laughs> it's always good. To have them in your stores. And now it is uh, the idea to, I, I bought some extra um, bins, large bins, where these uh, manuals can fit in. And uh, I'm gonna give those bins a location and then put those manuals onto those bin locations because now I do not have a system. They are all, yeah, basically on the same location, but it's hard to, uh, to locate them if needed. So the stickers I have in this like folder, I call it sticker map one or S map one. And then I have uh, it under these div dividers A to uh, Z. And so if I put them away uh, like these stickers, I think I stole this idea, used this idea from uh, some other uh, vlogger. It might have been Pop's blog shop, but it's like a really. So and then I put put them in those uh, plastic folders. There we go. So now I know this one is at. S map one, is it one? Yeah, dash G from golf. So that's complete. I'm only missing like six G slopes. For the life of me, I don't know where they are. It's possible I put them away, but it's possible I did not. So these, uh, this Star Wars set is now uh, ready to upload. But well, basically is already completely uploaded. Uh, only these six items still need to be uploaded. So I'm gonna do that right now. File, export, mass upload. I still had another file uh, with minifigures of which I had to upload some. So that's it and now I will uh, start putting away um, my next set that I have to do. Hello everybody, here's another small update of uh, what I'm doing currently in my stores. Um, 
the last couple of days I received uh, some nice orders like this one it's a massive order of one by two bricks and one by four bricks in white uh, this one goes to Denmark and then I have here some other two nice orders I have no idea where they come from or where they have to go to uh, some minifigure parts I still need to uh, um, pick some other minifigure parts uh, but basically my son he prepared these um, shipments so I will now prepare them put them into a box and then after that um, I'm probably gonna uh, catalog these items so these are still some minifigures from the uh, videos set that I've been parting out one of the video set and they're also from the uh, the tiles from the video set I'm, I'm really not a fan of those tiles and it's pretty hard to uh, catalog them um, yeah, but it's a pain we all have to go through I guess um, this is from a uh, Spider-Man set uh, for four-year-olds. <laughs> um, I had six copies of those. I still have to do the minifigures. All the parts have been catalogued. And this is from a Han Solo set. Also two figures that... Uh, that's a set, by the way. Um, and also two figures that I still have to catalog. All the other parts are already catalogued. Now, uh, my son is um, has started cataloging um, this video set. As you can see, he already did some. Or is that another set? That might be a Star Wars set. He did a Star Wars set, apparently. Uh, and then there is a... Um, it's the giveaway set uh, from Jane Goodall. Yeah, we have those so very nice parts in there, like uh, a monkey, for instance, that I really like. So that's cool. Uh, gonna be available in the stores pretty soon, as I will upload those as soon as I'm finished with, with the other parts. So my... Uh, the way, of I, uh, the way I work now uh, when uh, uh, cataloging sets that I parted out is I first do all the bricks and then in the end I do the um, minifigures because that takes some time because what I do with the minifigures is I put them all into uh, bags that I then give the label so it's easy to identify them and I put them in, in a box like this which is uh, handy in my opinion. Uh, where are we with the stores? So everything um, gets nice, is about to be nicely filled. There are now a few order, a uh, few uh, locations that are that have some free space in them. But as you can see here these has been nicely filled and now I'm starting to fill up that cabinet and when that's full I have another cabinet here now um, I did order uh, five uh, Reiko cabinets uh, not similar like this um, with I believe 45 and uh, like the, the this one is on one big drawer and then um, some smaller drawers and uh, there are about one, two, three, four, I think 30 drawers like this, and then they, they come uh, bigger. I'll let you see them uh, as soon as I uh, um, unpack them. What uh, I managed to locate those on a marketplace at a really nice um, price for them compared to new. So my uh, I did request to ship them, so I hope I really hope Postenel is really careful uh, with those boxes and they arrive um, in pristine condition. Um, I had it once that I ordered them from uh, Conrad 
and one of the boxes was uh, damaged although it is it's really it's not plastic it's some sort of uh, metal aluminium don't know what it is i think it's metal but they they can be uh, out of um, how do you say this can be like over here and then the the underside can be over there so they're completely yeah not in good shape that's that's possible so but i hope my hope is that these will arrive in in very good shape and then i have some um, extra cabinets that i can use so really happy with that um i'm my aim is still to um have more items than the 200 200 thousand items that i have now on average um but since i am only inputting items uh, usually in the weekend it's it's pretty hard to keep up um but my aim is to obviously grow i have a uh, a lot of sets that i still need to put away i have the used uh, bulk that i still need to put away and i have tons i mean tons of minifigures um that i have ordered that are coming in and that i still have so yeah has a a lot to do uh so my first uh task of today in the shop is um packing all these orders now not all orders have been paid already so i uh, need to be careful with that but i'm already packing them so that's finished and the moment that i receive the payment i can create the invoice and ship them out uh, these uh, bricks actually they have to go with a VAT free invoice because they're going to Denmark to a company in Denmark and he requested specifically to have a, an invoice free of VAT so that's very well possible in my stores as I am a VAT registered company so whenever you uh, want to order with me uh, and you're not based in Belgium and you're a, a registered company VAT registered I can ship you without Okay, let's start cracking. 